All right, all right. I think we're doing this here now. I had to fight the system a little bit to get this thing where I wanted it to be. You can now add up to three guests to your broadcast. Uh, I don't even know what that means. I want 500. Or, oh. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So, I am going to turn this though. Let's see. How do I turn it so the other face is the face is the face? This one? Oh, cross my face. Nope, that didn't do anything. It's that one there. This one? Yeah. We are live now. So we know. are live. Yes, I know. And uh, we're at a new home. We're at a new home tonight. And uh, it's, honestly, it's a bit chaos, but hey, we're making this happen. <laughs> we got we got a uh, set up here at the Thayer Hotel in Annandale, Minnesota. And we have Mark and Melissa in the background there. And running the camera tonight is gonna to be Brandon. And uh, so I'm going to sneak around the other side and we're gonna kick off this show the best we can here. We're, like I said, we don't know how well the internet is gonna be. You hold it like I do, kinda. <laughs> and voila, interesting. So, hey, welcome to the show. We got live music. Hello. We got live music. <laughs> we do, not live. Okay, <laughs> we've got piped in music. It's too bad we didn't have our own orchestra tonight. Soon, be. just a couple more years, and we'll probably have live orchestra intro. But, all right, so quickly, a quick review. Um, we've been here, Mark and I have been here a couple times. Uh, we came here initially, though, as a Search for Spirits team. Melissa was with, mm -hmm. and... It was just the three of us. Yeah, it was. It was. And okay. Then, and then it was you and I the next night. Yep. So the first night it was the three of us. Second night we spent a whole weekend here. Uh, it was just Mark and I. And then we came back the following year. So that was 2020. We came back here to the Thayer in 2021. 21, yep. And we joined up and we did a cameo appearance with the Knops team out of the cities here. And that was a good time too, but we didn't do a lot on it. No. We just kind of hung out and talked, talk smack a little bit. Yeah, we did have an experience. Yeah. Actually, a pretty darn big one. That was a good one. What was it? So we were sitting out in front by the bar, and the chair between Russ, myself, and uh, one of their um, investigators, his name was Christian, was rocking. Rocking. Without any of us touching it. Which was a pretty neat thing. So uh, we all could see it. Can anybody let us know how loud we are? Are we loud enough? Is it too much noise? Are we, do we need to talk up a little bit? Hello, Wonder Paul. <laughs> Hello, Gina, Josie, Amber. I probably missed some of the names. We just got you up on here, and we're watching out of a second phone, so I can see what some of you uh, are commenting on. Hello, Hannah. Ex oh, excellent, Gina. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because, like I say, we got the music going. We got a kitchen room there with a refrigerator running. Um, I don't know what we all got going on. We got people throwing barbecue sticks. Uh, you know, whatever. They're making noise all over. But that's fine. We knew that. We anticipated that. And we're excited to be here and talk about this location as being a very, very substantial haunting type location. Um, we had a lot of personal experiences at this location. Um, and I think the biggest one, let's start out big. Let's tell them about the rosary right off the bat. We should. Um, so we had kind of, we're getting settled in. I chose my room and uh, I locked my gear in there at, at the beginning. Yep. And second the, floor. Yep, on the second floor <laughs> in, the, in the back part of the uh, hotel. And a little bit later, Russ was upstairs on the third floor in the front. Yeah. And he looked down and he, he saw this piece of jewelry on the ground. Like right under my like right under his feet. Third and floor. Somebody brought it downstairs. I think it was you, Melissa. Yes. Yeah. And Melissa's like, does this belong to anybody? And I'm like, that's mine. 
And that thing was inside a small zipper pocket zipped into my backpack behind a locked door. It, this rose on a different floor on yeah. the opposite side of the building. Yeah, it came up and went upstairs. We so. didn't even believe it. We went to check. We were flabbergasted. Let's call that the word of the name. Well, here, <laughs> let's... Uh, oh, yeah, you want to get my, out. I got my bag here. So. Excellent. Um, Can I still sleep in the restroom? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yep, yep. That's fine. I us have a business meeting tonight. Yes, we're live on, uh, I wouldn't call it television, we're live on media. Yeah, one of the, one of the various venues you can do that. Yes, you absolutely. <laughs> so, it was inside this backpack, behind this zipper, behind this zipper, and this is the little rosary that made its way um, up a different, you know, floor under his feet. So, just thought that was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Hello, I want to say hello to Pam and Diana and Rita, and the names that are popping on here. I'll try to say them the best I can as we roll along. But uh, like I said, a little bit more chaos than usual. We're so used to our little small shack out in the garage it's there that quiet. quietness. You know, this is a lot different environment. We just have people walking through the bathroom. Um, we're expecting some dancers a little later. No, no dancers, no dancers. But so, another, so another experience we could have Melissa tell about. Yeah. Why don't you tell you about the experience you had? Which one? The one in the basement or the no, one where we were eating? No, the eating one, yeah. Okay. So while we were having dinner the last time, um, Mark and Russ were actually, it was almost like we are right now, sitting. And Mark was experiencing a headache on this side of him, and Russ was on this side, and I'm in the middle, and I have got just a tremendous headache. Well, Mark leaves to go get some Tylenol or something like that, and all at once, Russ and I are sitting there, and it's like, something's, something's behind us. So I grab my camera, and I'm taking selfies, and... I brilliantly brought that up. I don't Take think selfies. did. I think it was me. Oh. So uh, I took some selfies, and upon looking at the selfies, there was actually an apparition sitting at a table behind the glass. And it wasn't, you couldn't, it wasn't me. Um, it had like a white scarf. You could see the scarf. I still like the have. The clothing was older, right? I mean, yeah, it, oh, it yeah. looked like something that was not of this particular decade that's and sure. there was no way that it could have been any of us because i was blocking the shot i literally held my camera up and i was all in black like i am tonight you know now this lady here is actually a, a former owner of the location um Actually, one of the Thayer family that used to own this. And, uh... Her name was Carolyn. Carolyn, yep. Yeah. And so, when we looked at it, I think, you know, the collar itself, you know, kind of brought on a feeling that she would wear clothes that was similar to the type of clothes that was in the apparition. Kind of the same kind of neckline like that. Right. And as a matter of fact, not only did we happen to happenstance to see her that day, but other people had seen her too up in some of the rooms. Mm -hmm. And uh, they described a lady that looked exactly like that apparition, which looks a lot like that lady right there, Caroline. Do you, do you have the photo of the apparition on that computer? I do not, sorry. Oh. But uh, yeah, you think I would. But I'm saving that for, because we're gonna be back here again. And one of the big things we're here tonight for is to, um, I don't know, kind of reacquaint ourselves, reacquaint ourselves with what's currently here for Supernatural in the building. Because starting this, maybe even in April or for sure in May, every last Wednesday of the month, we're going to be doing some tours here on that Wednesday. Last Wednesday of the month is what we're talking about, I will definitely put that on Facebook when the time comes. But uh, we will advertise that. It's going to be exciting. We're going to have two tours a night. I will walk people around 
and uh, we have several pages of experiences that we've had here since we've been in, like I said, we've been here a couple times, and uh, it's going to be a great opportunity to just talk with people about how things go, and we probably would do that week's show on those Wednesdays here on location if we can iron out some of the details. Like I say, tonight we got here on the ground, and then things just went so fast, we're like, my gosh, we got to set up ASAP. We're and ready. It, it got a little crazy. We're totally ready, but... But hey, we're ready now. But we did bring along some EVPs from the last time. Uh, it is a bit noisy, but I think you will be able to hear them. But I want to talk about a little bit more. One, they used to have chairs, a very uh, historical type of chair arrangement in the front foyer. And now it is seating for food. Since uh, the COVID, they've had to spread the tables out. And uh, so the, the tables are still out there. But we were picking up random EMF, electromagnetic energy, off of some of these chairs. And surprisingly enough, Melissa would sit in a chair and the ones with the high EMF is the one she'd get the headache. The same headache that she was getting when we were in the dining room. And I don't want to, I don't want it to come across as, hey, you're here. Oh, don't go there, you're going to get headaches. That's absolutely false. Um, That's just one of my... Things. That's one of her sensitivities. Uh, most people wouldn't even notice that per se. And uh, but we're using it as a tool, a learning tool, to identify because we identify spirits in a lot of different ways. Right. But occasionally we get headaches, and that's one of them. Um, but uh, so we measured the. Oh, we had cats, right? We yes. Did. Then we like how, what, how many cats do you think? Three. Three cats. One of them's name is Coco. But we're not talking living cats. We're talking that a cat that had been here many, many years ago had passed on and potentially the spirit of that cat is here. You had one hiss at you. Well, yeah, we, we saw one laying on the bed, right? Or not on the we bed. We heard it. We, we heard it on the bed and we saw where the, the bedding was messed up a little bit and we could tell that something was laying there, had been laying there. Yeah. But later on, and this is the second night that we were hanging out, there was an actual live cat that one of the family members had brought in. Yeah, it came down to see Yeah, it, and it was standing on the stairwell, and I walked over to it, and this little cat was so cute. It was just rubbing against the stuff, all smiles. Yep. And I went closer to it, thinking I was going to scratch its little ear, and about a foot, uh, two feet behind it, there's this hiss. There's a loud hiss. That everybody in the room heard. And it was the ghost cat. That's all I can explain it as. It wasn't the happy little cat. It wasn't that happy cat. Because that happy cat was ready to lick my finger. It was so happy to see me. And But behind this cat was something I could not see that was not as happy. Friendly. Yeah. Friendly. So that was interesting. And uh, the chair, right? The chair, yep. That was a... Uh... Thing. Yeah, and that was on a whole different time. That's a different time we're here, yep. So, you want to tell about that a little bit? Well, we kind of did. We kind of did already? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going through my notes. That's all right. Um, but yeah, we had a lot of interesting things. Uh, in the two more major investigations, um, last time we got here, right off the bat, we were sitting there and we heard rustling inside of our gear bags. Mm -hmm. That was kind of weird. It was weird. And we found out with research that that's not an unusual sequence. People are hearing all kinds of rustling around the, the spirits, potentially maybe, maybe some former prostitutes, it's hard to say, but messing in, in people's bags. And taking things actually, like keys. and Maybe and taking them and just misplacing keys on them in the room. And maybe rosaries. And rosaries. Yeah. <laughs> so let's try, let's try some of these. E EVPs here um, and I'll admit with the different noise some of these might be a little hard to hear so we'll have you focus over at the screen here and have that closer to the and we'll see if you guys can hear this all right here we go <laughs> Like I said, we're not here. We're not here to upset you. 
Well, like I said, we're not here. We're not here to upset you. Well, like I said, we're not here. We're not here to upset you. Okay, so you can kind of see that one. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Hello, Julie. Hello, Brian. Tammy. What did you say? Okay, okay. No, I don't want to do that one. One of the good ones, I know I don't. I don't want to do that one right now. We'll do that one later. All right, so that's one of them. I hope you could hear that. Can anybody let me know if you heard that? There's Pat on, Pat's on there somewhere. Because Diana's saying hi to Pat, so. All right, here's another one. This is one of my favorites. Oh boy, this could be hard to hear though, isn't it? Let's try this one. I hear something totally different. Yeah, you do? Yep. It sounds like it says, what have I done here? What have I done here? And I think I initially had that rolled down before, but I took that out of there. So, I think that just based on the fact, let's try this one. It is so noisy in here, we might just give up on this one. I beg to differ. No, all right, hand back over here. All right, so. Oh, so Josie said she did hear it. Diana heard it. Good. Amber. Okay, so people can hear them. Um, I suppose it's a lot harder to hear exactly what it is because of the fact that there's multiple sounds coming through. I don't know how many times I can say that. All right, let's, since they can hear it, let's play one more. You like the rosary? <laughs> Do you like the rosary? Do you like the rosary? It's Karinga. It's similar. <laughs> yep, yep. So, it helps to see the words. And, you know, I'm glad I put those words on her today because I want her. Sure. Hello, Sue. Jackie, hello, hello. So yeah, we definitely, um, I just hope you guys can hear a lot better than I feel I can hear. Because it really seems like distorted with all the sounds in here. But uh, let's cut that back and let's step out of the office for a minute and, and take a little tour. tour. Let's take a little tour. Let's, let's do that. If you want to continue watching, mine's going. So you can watch it off of mine. Yeah. So, all right. So we're gonna open this door. We're gonna have to sneak kind of around and about because they got guests eating and stuff. We're gonna give a short tour to wrap this up here. Okay. Then we'll be right back down. So we'll stop here. Yeah. This is where Mrs. Thayer was sitting. Right in that chair. It was the other one. It was this that chair. one. It doesn't matter. It's one of these chairs. <laughs> You're so specific. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. And then, well, and that so was the glass window that cross there. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's pretty amazing. Now, there is the potential for reflections, and I, I kid you not, we spent a pile of time while we were investigating here, verifying and trying to debunk the fact that maybe we were seeing reflections, but there just wasn't people 
seated in the right areas to balance out those reflections. This was totally separate. Uh, really great apparition photo by Melissa. Thank you. All right, let's head her through. Yes, why don't you tell about this one? This is the chair. I was sitting right here. You were sitting right there. Yep, and then the person was standing here. Yep. And then this chair was like rocking. Uh, here's where I was sitting. Yeah, this chair was yeah. low. Without anybody near the thing. I'm and sorry. I, I don't know if it was quite that month, but. But it was moving for a while. Something like that, huh? Yeah. About like that? Just, I mean, all three of us noticed it. I don't know, you know, because we're just talking around, or like, whoa, whoa, what up with that? Why is that thing moving around? Yeah. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Did we get any EVPs from it, or? Okay, wait, wait, a cat. Stay over there. Mm. So this cat was right here, rubbing against these poles here, and from about back here, was a wild hiss. He did it for us. I told you. I told him I was going to pretend to be the cat tonight, and if I say something, I'm doing it. He didn't lick his paw, though. Hey, the cats I, the cats I seen didn't lick their paw. <laughs> oh, let's start way down at the other end here. Right, right. Why don't you lead the way to the room you're in? All right. And you let us know how the reception is if we... My reception's good. Okay. And just shoot it from the hallway, probably. So I gotta, I'm, hope, can you guys let me know if you guys can hear Mark and Russ okay? Because I'm a ways away from them. So this is the room where the rosary left, the door was locked, the bag was in this room. Um, and then also at another point I came into the room, and I was right about here, and this curtain, with the windows closed, whatever, no grass that I could tell, like lifted out like this. And then settled back in. This one stayed. So, mm -hmm. not much else in this room. <laughs> but, I just want to add that while we listened to the audio a little bit later, when Mark was talking about it to the audio device or his camera or whatever he had going, we heard uh, EVP. I didn't play it tonight. It's a little soft. But she's like, I am. I was there. I was there. Yeah. So somebody said just one time. I was there. So and so it girls, was a female that was there. Or did it? Yep. And and that wasn't the only one he got in this room too. He got other EVPs out of this room that night. So this was a pretty pretty sound. interesting room. But you, based on the snoring I heard on the audio I listened to, I slept well. You slept pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> it was not an issue. <laughs> So, well, let's head, let's head upstairs and... Sh the cat that I heard was oh, in that room. In oh, room. okay. It was in we'll the next room. In there and so... What did you hear? I hit the light on. When uh, Russ and I were doing my live, um, I walked in this room, and a few of my guests that uh, were on my live said that they s heard what sounded like a cat jump off the bed, like a little... Like they make... And you could, they say that you can see the indent, which we did see in the blankets, of what looked like a cat that, that had been laying on the bed. So that was one. I don't have my phone. It's downstairs. It's 7.4. Okay. Okay. So, all right, we're running back. What else? We had, we had what appears to be some type of lit apparition outside this one pane. And we tried to identify, now I watched through a ton of video from this location. The camera was down on that end, shooting this way. And something came across, which appears very much like, like a, a figure. Like a figure. Yeah, because you could see its shoulders and its head. Yeah, and it kind of come in front of this window here. I'm just going to show that we're up. Yeah, yep, yep. So there's no way that it could have been anyone. Not see through. <laughs> right. But this is this is the second hotel. Uh, the first one burned down. And uh, of course, all my notes are down the table. But there originally was a hotel here, and uh, sometimes it was called the Annandale House. 
And when it burnt down, so did several other buildings in town. Now the camera was sitting right here. I was watching this room. And uh, so it's a pretty long hallway. We, we watch corridors because of the fact that... <laughs> Somebody said wipe the phone lens off. Sorry. Oh. The lighting is really unusual in here too, so that might that might have something to do with it. It could be, yeah. I usually don't lick the cover. I usually don't lick my lens. I it's didn't cool. lick it, dude. Gross. Let's check and check in here. Ah, uh, Russ. Uh, oh, the got him? okay. The um, honeymoon suite. Okay, let's do the honeymoon suite. We're gonna hit some lights in here. Um, this particular room. Here had very high EMF in it. It still does actually. And it still does have high EMF. But in addition to the EMF, there was an energy in here that didn't feel very welcoming. You you can't see because of that light behind you. Just You're there you go. Lighted. There you go. So historically there had been a lot of stories about this room. It was kind of the honeymoon suite. It's got this giant, giant, giant tub over there. I already here. showed it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, yeah, stories of uh, people that stayed here fighting and leaving. Yeah, the and they're supposed night. to be like honeymooners and yeah. stuff. Did you see that? Russ was trying to fight with me just now, you guys. Yeah, Look, it was. Yeah. yeah. Anger. I mean, I'm like... Anger issues. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the anger is so... <laughs> but no, not really. Seriously, this place conjured up some negative energy in people and caused people to fight. So, um, we did do a little work in this room here. We did, yeah. To release that energy, and we put a blessing on the room. And ever since then, they have not had any trouble. It's been quiet. None. Like they had before. So, we're very excited that this room, that we were able to clean this one up. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we just came in and we cleansed it up. I think we might have used a little holy water even. I think so. Yep. And because we always take a little holy water wherever we go, just in case for situations just like this. So this room now is much more calmer. Peaceful, yeah. Peaceful. And it's just, the whole hotel is kind of a Victorian era type hotel. Very historic. What, just because it said Victorian? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, the period, not the man. The period, not the man. <laughs> hey, well, that happened down in uh, Pipestone at that. It did. Your room was Victorian. Yeah, I told I told him, uh, hey, I'd like to get the most haunted room. They said, well, somebody's already in the most haunted room. How about the second most haunted room in the hotel? I said, I'll take it. And uh, I got there like two months later, got the key, didn't say anything on it, walked upstairs, walked up to my door, and it said Victorian on the door. What's the chance? Huh? What's the chance that... Right. Anyway, that happened. That did happen. It did. I saw it. I witnessed it. I know we're breezing along pretty fast here because, you know, and it's a 30-minute show. We probably Who cares? Are. Yeah, we're clear. Let's see if we got some coverage up here. I don't mean to film your butt. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> I wore a t-shirt that hung really low. All right. Mark, you, you all okay? right? I just fell off the stairs. Or did somebody push you? Oh, yeah. No. All right, just stand over there. Now, the last time we were here, there was a little kind of a chair. There was a chair right here. And I was setting the camera up right here. And Oh, that sun's glaring into that window. Sorry. Okay. So anyway... Again, we were covering the hallway. I was standing here, and I'm setting the camera up, and I'm judging distance and this and that. The chair's right behind me. I take a step over, one step over, and I'm like, what is underneath my foot? And I lift it up, I reach down, it looks like, like at first it looked like a necklace. I got up, it's kind of like a rosary. I'm like, maybe somebody was sitting on the chair Doing the rosary, it dropped it. I don't, I, you know, I don't know. And that's when they brought it downstairs. I gave it to Melissa. She cruises all the way downstairs and says, "Hey, I, we found this up. Can you want to put this in the lost and found?" 
And then Mark was sitting there, and he's like, whoa, whoa, that's mine. That was just strange. I remember, you might be sleeping. Oh, I'm sorry, I talk so loud too. Yeah, you do. Sorry. So. Huh? We are. I, is he up there sleeping? I didn't, I didn't think of it either. No, I don't know. Just oh. We are almost we are almost wrapped up. It's about a 30 minute show, so about what time is it, Mark? It is 7.30. No, oh good. I mean, are you comfortable being on or? Oh, I don't want to be on there. Okay, okay. No. <laughs> Alright, so we're just visiting with one of the owners, but uh, they don't want to be on the Facebook Live at this time and and we honor respect and respect everybody um, because, you know, Mark and I are kind of used to sitting on this thing every Tuesday night. Tonight's Wednesday night. Now next week, back to Tuesday night, back right? Back to the office. Back to the office next Tuesday. So, and, and if... we don't have a topic yet either. We don't. But we had a lot of good ideas from the week before. Right. That we didn't use because boom, 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 we were... Why can't you talk about what we get tonight? Why not? And we can. I, I always think that's a good idea. I do too. We if we have personal experiences tonight, we will talk about them on next week's show while it's fresh in everybody's memory. Because mm -hmm. they can still kind of remember in their mind what the place looks like a little bit. And I could join from my house. You should. Yeah. You have that feature. You guys would have you to have add me. You have the feature. No, you have the feature. I have the feature. <laughs> All right, so we are trying to figure it out. I'm not very technically advanced, but... Um, well, there's something to choose we can... Yeah. I'll help. So, anyway, so next week, we'll talk about how this went. That, that's a great I idea. Let's great do that. Idea. Yeah. And uh, other than that, I don't think we're going to go on the Facebook Live tonight for any reason. This is kind of the shebang. Unless... We really feel the energy really starts wrapping up, getting crazy, and there's something crazy. exciting. Yeah. You never know. You never know. But it's the problem is it is, we understand it is a Wednesday night, and more people are going to bed early. It's not like a Saturday night or something or Friday night. Right. So this will be it for tonight. This is the show, and uh, I am super happy that you guys all showed up tonight. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, what a great time here. We're happy to be live on location tonight. And... But next week, Tuesday, 7 p.m., and we'll talk about how this all went. See you then. See you then. Melissa, you want to say goodbye? No, I'm good. Have oh. a good one, guys. All right, bye-bye. Right,